Just showing off my collection for today. Um, this Monstera, man, I just woke up and just keeps smiling at me. I juiced him up with Osmocote. I had him outside for a while and um, brought him in maybe about two weeks ago. I've been feeding him liquid algae or the, the kelp. I don't have it in the house right now. That liquid kelp in the white bottle. I think you can buy at Home Depot, but they mostly sell it at um small time uh small time nurseries or maybe plant stand or any of those. But I haven't really seen that same brand at Home Depot. They have like a weaker version at Home Depot, which is still good too. But uh, that's what I water this guy with. Um, when I fed him about two, okay, I brought him in the house. I f dug out a little bit of the dirt. Here we go. I, well, not the dirt. This is orchid bark right here. So I kind of empty that out a little bit. And then underneath that, I threw down used coffee grounds, a little bit of Osmocote, and piled that orchid bark right on top. And then I watered it in, which is a tad bit of the Super Thrive because I love it. And the liquid kelp, just watered that through in been responding but this morning like obviously you could tell this is a new leaf and just yeah everything's doing good i actually cut myself a piece of this guy um uh, forgot what it's called it's not a monstera let's see if he ends up panning out literally just cut him off of a branch from somewhere i brought in my adeniums so if you guys are adenium lovers go ahead and start bringing those in some people leave them outside I was thinking about leaving them outside, but I tend to go on trips and the weather has kind of been up and down as far as those night temperatures. So I did not want them to freeze. So I got them in front of a south facing window. So this pretty much looks like this all day. Um, that little corner over there will get a little bit more direct sun than the left side. So I have my monster in the shade right now. He's not getting as much sun as everybody else. Not sure if that what motivated the spike in growth, but he's definitely look at him. Just wants to say hi. But um, I brought my deniums. Definitely want that good sun exposure. Have not watered them. They say in the winter time when it gets really really cold, go ahead and bring these guys in the house and do not water until night temperatures pick back up. That's what I'm doing. I've grown adenias before, but not to this scale. So definitely um, having a habit. They're a little bit different. These are all firm. I haven't watered them in about, I don't know, maybe two weeks. Here's my Syngonium. This is actually a cutting. I think I, got, I posted a video of me actually doing this cutting. It's a two month old cutting. It could be bigger, but I've been slacking on the feeding. And just some more denium. Then I got them down here. Another denium, a little bonsai guy. And they're all firm. I'm not sure if you're supposed to not water them all the way until springtime or maybe just once, but I guess just keep squeezing your uh, babies until they get a tad bit soft. Let's see, is this guy's? Yep, they're all firm. I think if they end up getting a tad bit soft, I might feel like I want to water them. Just depending how close to the end of February, mid-March we're getting, I might just go ahead and hold out. Because remember, I mean, they're deniums. They're built for uh, that drought. That's where they store all the water. But once again, yeah, I'm just showing off my little collection. I got this from Arid Lands in Tucson. I'm going to post a video on that. I got this from a friend. Yeah, look at that guy, Euphorbia, Arabicum, Adenium, kind of in that Adenium phase right now. My Golden Pathos, another Syngonium. This monster is about the same, well, it is the same age as the huge one, but this one I left outside longer and definitely kept forgetting to feed it and left it on the north side of my house, which gets like zero sun. So he's fall by. he's kind of an experiment on how fast he would grow if I slacked on care. Once I brought him in the house and kind of fed him, you can see he sprouted out a new leaf. Got my mother of thousands. 
think I'm going to uh, do a new giveaway on the Mother of Thousands. Let me know if uh, that's a good one. I'll just give away the little babies. Let me see if I can find... Mm, I don't have any babies inside, but I'll post that maybe a little bit later. But this is actually the babies of the Mother of Thousands. Let me see if I can get... Right there. They're kind of all spread out. Let's see. This is another succulent I kind of just plucked from a friend. And, um gonna repot that but those little pups grow at the edge of the leaves of the mother of thousands you see those little babies and I plant those and I get them perfect plant to start off with but yeah just showing my inside collection for right now I forgot what this plant is called it was another gift but I'm gonna go ahead and grow it up like a good plant person I am all right, garden folk, just showing off my inside collection. So two things, I brought my monster in, fed him, and been leaning back on the water. I definitely brought in all my adeniums because of the night cold, and I have not watered them since they've been in the house, and I think that's been about two to three weeks. I can't remember. Definitely before New Year's because that's why I brought them in. I was traveling, I think, around Christmas time. So I think I brought them in around Christmas time and they've been inside since and I have not watered them since and I'm gonna see how long I can go um, I keep my house in 78 temperature all day every day which some people do not so I'm not sure if that's why none of them are losing leaves as you can see let me find one that's losing leaves oh well here you go Here's one that lost leaves, and since I brought it in the house, it started uh, growing again. I'm going to find out if uh, that's a good or bad thing. But uh, that trunk is pretty firm, and the leaves look nice and vibrant. I'm going to assume that's not a bad thing, but I'm not going to water anything just yet. Over and out, garden folk. All well be well.